Hey everybody, One Stop Tutorial back again. So it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I promise that I will return to uploading regularly. So without further ado, today I will be starting a series. This series is called Road to Hacker, which will teach you how to become a professional ethical hacker from scratch. Anyone can do it. If you are interested, please show me your support by subscribing and hitting the like button. So the Road to Hacker series will teach you everything from how to get your neighbor's Wi-Fi password to penetration testing websites and even how to take websites down. All these videos will be for educational purposes only. So you might be asking, what do I need to get started? All you need is a laptop, access to internet, and some spare time. Yep, that's about it. Firstly, we will be downloading the ultimate penetration testing platform, Kali Linux, and to run it, we will need a program called VirtualBox. All the links will be in the description below. So let's get started. So firstly, we're gonna download Kali Linux. Just go to the link up here, kalilinux.org. Go to Downloads, download Kali Linux, and then you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now, you either download a 64-bit version or the 32-bit version, and to determine whether you're a 64-bit or a 32-bit, I'll also leave a link below, and it will show you that you're currently using a 64-bit or a 32-bit version, and based on that, you'll download either the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. Now, there's two ways you can download this. You could either download it by using a torrent or the direct link. Now I recommend you all download uTorrent and get the torrented version because it's much faster during download. Click on the torrented version. Once it's done downloading, click on it and it will automatically take you to uTorrent. Click on OK and leave it to download. After it's done downloading, all you need to do now is download VirtualBox. The link is down in the description below. Click on Download VirtualBox 5.0, and now you have two versions. You either download the Windows version if you're using a Windows computer, or the OS version if you're using a Mac. I'm using Windows, so I'll click on this one. Now I'll be back when both of the downloads are done. Now that VirtualBox is done downloading, let's start by setting it up. Click on it. Click on Next. Next. And I'm going to untick these for personal preferences. Click on Next. And then click on Yes. Then click on Install. And then click on Yes. And then let's wait for it to install. Then click on Install. Now that it's done, just click on Finish. And it's going to start up on its own. Okay, so now that it's open, let's start with the install. First, click on New. We're going to call this Kali Linux, and it would automatically choose the version for you. Then we click on Next, and I recommend we use one gigabyte of RAM. If you can't use a, if you can't use one gigabyte, just put it at five twelve. But I recommend 1 gigabyte because I have 12 gigs of RAM, so I can do that easily. Then click on Next. Click on Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now. And then click on Next. And then click on Next. And now I recommend that we use 20 gigs if you have that. And if you can't, then just use 10 which will be okay too. And then click on create. Okay, so now there's a few things we have to do. First, we have to go to system and then processor and then enable PAE. Click on okay. And then we go to storage and we click on empty. And here's the step where we have to go back to uTorrent and then right click the, the torrent that we downloaded, click on open containing folder, hit continue, and then take it, put it, move it to the desktop. And then you can click X, and then you can X this out. And now we'll click on the disk icon, 
and then choose virtual box optical and then go to desktop and we'll double click this because we put it on the desktop and then we click on OK. OK, now we're going to start it up by double clicking. And this is where things start to get tricky. First, we are going to start by installing it to your virtual box by clicking on install. Click on enter for English and click on any other language if you guys speak other languages. Click on United States or wherever you're at, enter. And then American English, enter. Okay, for the host name, we're going to call it Kali Linux. For the domain name, we're going to call it private.edu. Hit on continue. And then for the root password, this is important. You have to put a password that you're not going to forget because this is this is the password that it's going to ask you for every time you try to log on to your virtual box Kali Linux. So think of it and then type in a root password. Let me type in mines. And let me verify it. Okay, Eastern Time, enter. Click on Guided, Use Entire Disk, enter. And then another enter. And then All Files in One Partition, enter. And then fi Finish Partitioning and Write Changes to Disk, enter. And then Write the Changes to the Disk, yes. And we're going to have to wait until the install is over and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so we're almost done. Now, use network mirror, yes, enter. Keep this blank and let's wait until it's done. And there are only a few steps left. For the install grub bootloader, we're gonna hit on yes, enter. And then click on the device that's there, the hard disk on your device, enter. And let's wait until it's done. So if you reach this step, congratulations. You're done installing Kali Linux. Just hit enter on continue. And it's finishing up the installation now. Let's wait for it to finish and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so when you're done installing, you'll be greeted by this screen. For the username, type in root, R-O-O-T. And for the password, type in the password that we put in when we were setting Kali Linux up. And we're in. Just wait for it to start up. Congratulations. The setup and installation of Kali Linux is 100% complete. You are ready to start the road to becoming a hacker. Make sure to subscribe and watch all my videos. And by the end of this series, I promise you will be surprised at the things you will be able to accomplish. If you have any problems during installation, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to reply as soon as possible. That's all for this video. Thanks for your time, and I will see you soon.